Okay, to solve these kind of equations, we want to match up the patterns on the left hand side and the right hand side. So what we could do is we could first raise both sides to the fourth power. So in this case, we see the exponent. So we have two layers of exponent. So this is y raised by four is the exponent of one. Then we have another, so we get a y raised by four multiplied by y raised by four. That equals to 64 raised by four. Then we can look at this in this way. So we see y, we apply y raised to the four, then raised by y raised by four. Now you see the pattern matched, right? y raised by four and y raised by four are the same. Now let's see this side. 64 is a squared. Right, so we write that a squared. Then raised by 4. Then two layers of exponents, we multiply them. So we have a raised by 8. Now you see that pattern matches from the left hand side and the right hand side. So we can conclude y raised by 4 equals to 8. Then we do force root. Fourth root because the fourth root four is an even number, so we put the plus minus because when we do negative number raised by even number, we get a positive. So that's the reason. So when we take a root of an even number, and we have two values: we have a positive one value and negative one value. I simplify that. So y equals to plus, minus, can we simplify this? Uh, we can leave it like that. It's the fourth root of eight. Because eight is a two cube, we won't be able to simplify it. Just leave it like that. So that's it. So that is the solution. Positive fourth root of eight, a negative fourth root of eight. What does it mean fourth root of eight? Let's think about this number. Let's see if this number equal to x. That means x raised by four, equals the eight. So a number is by four equals the eight. That's it. And it's an irrational number. So we just keep in this form. All right, that's for this question.